In this screencast, we'll uh, start talking about uh, universality or uh, universal programs. So um, let's um, uh, refresh our memory um, uh, and um, uh, briefly review uh, the concepts of coding and uh, decoding. So in uh, coding, we uh, uh, map programs to uh, numbers, each program uh, being mapped to um, a unique uh, natural number. Uh, and then uh, in decoding, uh, this is uh, okay, programs, programs to numbers. And then in decoding, we go from numbers to programs. So coding is uh, similar to compilation, and decoding can be uh, compared to reverse uh, compilation, or take a number and extract the source code. Um, so um, a universal program. Um, in uh, theoretical computer science uh, is uh, essentially equivalent of a modern operating system or uh, an interpreter. It's a uh, program that uh, uh, takes um, uh, other programs and uh, executes them. So, um, and uh, like basically coded programs, right? Um, uh, programs that uh, have been mapped uh, uh, into uh, numbers. So you can uh, think of uh, a modern equivalent uh, of uh, universal programs as operating systems or interpreters. So taking byte codes or um, uh, assembly uh, assembly codes uh, and uh, executing them on uh, specific uh, platforms. So um, let's say that uh, we um, have um, uh, a program uh, P. Uh, and um, um, uh, that program takes um, uh, some number of arguments, n arguments. So um, um, n, uh, we're going to be interested in n uh, greater than uh, zero. So uh, let's uh, consider, uh, let, let, let's say that uh, the number of that program, uh, the program compiles or coded as number y, some uh, a natural number. So for n greater than zero, the universal program u sub n is a program that um, can execute uh, any uh, program uh, p of n arguments on its inputs. So how come we're interested only in uh, n greater than zero? Well, because uh, programs are zero arguments, well, can be programs of uh, uh, some, um, uh, that take some number of uh, positive number of arguments and simply ignores all of them. Um, so, mm, so you have in the uh, well, we have in the end uh, this uh, sequence of uh, universal programs, so programs that can run any program with one argument, and two arguments, and three arguments, and and, and so forth. Uh, obviously, we're doing theory, but in practice, well, there are only finitely many registers that uh, uh, we can uh, we can handle. Uh, or simulate. So um, another concept uh, that um, uh, comes in handy um, in our present discussion uh, is the concept of snapshots. If you recall when we were discussing um, uh, what is computation, computation is a finite sequence of snapshots that a program goes to on a given uh, input. Right, uh, so this is the initial snapshot, and then S sub n is a terminal snapshot. So this is a computation, right? This computation, by definition, is finite, right? So it has the beginning, physical beginning, and physical end. And a snapshot is um, basically um, a sequence of equalities, each uh, stating the specific mm, uh, value of a specific variable, right? So all variables must be mentioned in the snapshot and also the instruction which is about to be executed. In the terminal snapshot, uh, that in the terminal snapshot, that instruction is 1 plus the number of instructions in the program. So um, uh, the, the notation uh, uh, psi p of uh, m um, r1 or m is the value of uh, y, the variable y, which is the output variable in the terminal uh, snapshot. Uh, p is the program, r1 uh, through rm are the values of the inputs, 
Uh, so x1 through uh, xm and m is the number of arguments to that program. So this is the value um, of y, that variable y, in the terminal, this, this uh, snapshot. And these are the values of the input parameters. Recall that x's are the input parameters, so they're m input uh, parameters in this, uh, in this notation. So, um, okay. Uh, now, mm, uh, let's assume that we have n greater than 0 uh, and introduce a new notation, a shorthand. So, uh, phi um, of n, uh, x1 through xn, mm, and then uh, y, is the same as uh, psi of p super m n. Uh, x1 through xn. Okay, uh, where um, y is the number of uh, p. In other words, p coded, uh, is coded into uh, y, or compiled into y. Okay, so it's phi of x1 through xn and y is the same as um, uh, psi of p uh, super n x1 through xn. So it's the value of the terminal uh, snapshot of uh, p uh, when applied to uh, the arguments x1 through xn. Okay, so um, and now uh, the notation of the universal program. So psi u sub n n plus 1. Um, u sub n is the universal program, um, nth universal program x1 uh, through xn and then xn plus 1. Um, so it takes the program um, whose number is uh, the value of xn plus 1 and runs mm, it on the arguments x1 through xn. So and this is the same as uh, phi super n x1 through xn xn plus 1. So uh, that's just the notation. Right, so this notation uh, actually denotes the uh, value of the terminal uh, snapshot. Um, right, so when the program uh, whose number is the value of x plus uh, x sub n plus one uh, is uh, is applied to um, the um, arguments x one through uh, x n. Right, so and u sub n is the universal program that actually does uh, that actually does that. So, um, okay, so these are the arguments. All right, so this is um, some program um, P such that um, the number of P p or p compiles into the value of uh, xn plus 1. So um, uh, phi super n uh, x1 uh, through uh, xn and then xn plus 1 is the same as uh, psi sub um, p uh, super n x1 through xn. Okay, um, where this, uh, this p is, uh, right, so compiles into the value of uh, xn uh, uh, if x, uh, xn plus 1. And that's what the universal program does, you know, it just takes um, uh, the program uh, <coughs> Uh, who uh, whose number is x and the value of x and uh, uh, x and plus one, and then applies it to the arguments x one through uh, x n. So uh, phi uh, psi uh, sub u n uh, super n plus one x one through uh, x n uh, x n plus one. Um, is equal to um, mm, Psi P N 
super n, x1 through xn. Right, so long as um, the number of p uh, is the value of xn plus 1. Yep, and um, this is um, equal to phi super n x1 through xn, xn plus 1. So, and that's this uh, phi. So let's go through a simple uh, example just to make sure that we have a good command of this notation. So let's suppose that uh, we have a function f of x equals x plus 1. And obviously we can write a program in uh, the programming language L, our formalism, that uh, can compute this function. Um, uh, so let's assume that we have written one such program p that computes f of x um, and uh, the number of p is some number y. Uh, we can use girdle uh, coding to code p into y. Then for all x, uh, f of x um, uh, equals a phi of uh, uh, phi super 1 x uh, y is the same as uh, psi of uh, u1 uh, super 2 um, x y and this is equal to uh, psi um, uh, p for a particular value of y right um, okay um, x so this is to be continued 